Okay, this next topic I think is uh, pretty easy. It's area, and area is different than circumference or perimeter. Circumference or perimeter um, were the distances around an object. Well, area is the space inside an object. So all of this space here. Now this first question is really, really easy, especially with the grid paper I have in the background. Um, it pretty much shows you how to get area just by counting. How many, s let's pretend that these squares are all one centimeter. Well, how many centimeter squares are in here? That's pretty much what area is asking. How many centimeter squares are there in an object? Well, you can just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's one way you could do it. But the questions, of course, are not always going to be that easy, and they're not always, you're not always going to have grid paper in the background to, to count. Um, an easier way to get um, the number of squares in an object is to just take one side and multiply it by the other side, or the, the length of the side times the width of the side, or the base of one side times the height of the other side. And that's where this formula comes from for area. Area is the base times the height of an object. To abbreviate this, A for area, B for base, H for height. So again, this answer is going to be 16 centimeters squared. We got that from counting how many squares are inside the object. But really quickly, let's just show you how I would like to see that done with the formula. So there's your formula, the work, the answer, area we don't know, base it would be 4, height would be 4, 4 times 4 is 16. Instead of just putting centimeters though, the tricky thing here, thing to watch for, is that um, in area, because we're multiplying the units by itself, it's squared. So it's 16 centimeters squared. Because there are like 16 squares in that square. Next question. A hockey rink is 61 meters long and 26 meters wide. What is the area of the rink? Now I know hockey rinks aren't rectangle shaped, but just for simplicity, I uh, just, who cares, just go along with it. Anyways, so when you get a word problem like this, draw a diagram. I already did draw a diagram. Uh, there's the 61 meters long and the 26 meters wide. And just a matter of, again, that same formula. Area equals base times height in our formula work answer setup. Area we don't know. The base is 61 meters this time. The height, 26 meters. You multiply the two together and you get 1,586 meters. Don't forget, because it's meters times meters, we are squaring that unit. So it's 1,586 meters squared. Theory is pretty easy, you're thinking, well, what about this question here? Uh, squares and rectangles we've dealt with. What about this shape, which is a parallelogram? This parallelogram is basically a rectangle that's been kind of slapped to the side and kind of slanted. So here, we have three numbers. And when we look at our formula, of area equals base times height, what's our base going to be and what's our height going to be? Alright, so area is the base, I think we can all agree that that's the base, 6 centimeters. Now discussions may come to what is the height. Is the height this, 4 centimeters? Or is it this, 3 centimeters? Now you may be confused by what this thing is. This isn't really even part of the shape of a dotted line, so that's just that just tells you the straight up and down vertical height of the object. Well, I kind of just gave it away, didn't I? This is the height of the object. The slant is not the height. Okay, when someone's going to measure your height, they don't uh, have the meter stick slanted. You need the meter stick or the measuring tool to be straight up and down. And that's what you need to, to look at. 
So you look for the right angle triangle, whatever line is 90 degrees to the base, that's your height. So the 3 is the height. What's the 4? It's just to mess you up. It's just a decoy. So the answer, whoops, did I just put an A there? That is supposed to stand for work. This stands for answer. Uh, so area is 6 times 3, 18 centimeters times centimeters squared. Area always has squared units. It's 18 centimeters squared is the final answer for that question. Okay, next up, what if you had a funny shape like this? Now, again, on grid paper, it's pretty easy just to count the squares and get the answer, um, although it's not perfectly drawn here. But I'd like you to get in the habit of, uh, when we get to uglier questions, to be able to break up the shapes and find out the area separately of each object. Okay, Every shape, even though it's, if it's a weird shape, is made up of basic shapes. Your squares, your rectangles, your triangles, that kind of thing. So what I would do with a weird shape like this is break it up. Now you could break it up this way or break it up that way. I'm going to break it up this way, which gives me two separate shapes. This rectangle here and this little square over here. Okay, what are the dimensions of this rectangle? Well, the base, there to there, it's the same as that, 3. So the base is 3. And the height is 8. Then you're left with this square on the side, which is 3 by 3 by 3. Well, of course, if that's 3, that's also going to be 3 as well. So uh, this is 3 by 3. And to get the area, you're going to take the base times height of this object plus the base times height of that object. I know a lot of you are thinking there's a lot easier way to do this, and yes, you can just count up the squares. I think you already know how to do that. I'm just preparing you for when we get uglier shapes where you can't always do that. Break up the, the two separate shapes, write down the formula um, that's appropriate for it, and then just plug in the numbers. 8 is going to be your height, 3 will be your base, plus over here the base is 3, the height is 3. 3 times 8, 24. 3 times 3, 9. You get a final answer of 33. Don't forget the units, centimeters squared. Done. Last question. What's the length of the missing side when you have a shape like this? Here we're told the total area, the total number of squares, are 32. We're told that this side is 8. I'm sure a lot of you could figure out the answer is just based on that. What times 8 equals 32? Hopefully you realize the answer is 4. So just just using your head and kind of figuring out the answer is 4 centimeters. That's one way to do it. Another way is to use the formula and use algebra. So again, formula, work, answer, area equals base times height. Usually we just put A for area, but here we're told the area is 32. The base is 8. The height, we don't know. Now, 8 times H. I, think I remember Mr. Campbell or myself telling you that you don't need to put the times, you can just put 8H. That means 8 times H. And now it's just a simple algebra question. We want to get the h by itself. What's bugging the h? The 8 is. How do we get rid of the 8? Well, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So you divide this side by 8, divide that side by 8. The 8's cancel on this side. We're left with just h. 32 divided by 8 is 4. And it's 4 centimeters. So either way, either just by figuring it out in your head and just realizing through common sense, or using some algebra, which would come in handy for trickier questions, which I don't have here, but I'm sure I'll give you in the future. Okay, that's it.